so let us talk about what devops is all about see some of you might be some of you here might be already know what is devops or else let me tell you one more thing before i begin you may be knowing some pointers okay you may know already some tool but let us assume and learn from the detail okay let's make our fundamentals strong let's make the uh, let's understand the advanced concepts thoroughly right so uh, so to make all this possible let's go from the beginning so now let's talk about what is devops see like i said yeah you may be having some idea about it see whenever you see the term you can see it's a combination of two terms development and operations so where does development team come into here or where does development task come in here and what does operations team does here see let's talk about this i believe you all know what is development but like i said let me go let me take up from the scratch development is nothing but writing a program right writing the code writing the program developing the uh, uh, application right so here let's say they use some programming language or else let's say developers or the people who are in this team we may call them as programmers or developers they write the programs they develop the application they design the application all of them will be taken care by them right they they may also use some programming languages like let's say c c sharp or php whatever right they write the programs they design the application they build the application right this is the task perform these are the tasks performed by development team and coming to ops team operations right they take care of the servers they take care of the services on those servers right they also take care of the networks access logins all of them will be taken care by ops team right so these are the major tasks taken care by ops in simple we can say yes infrastructure management could be taken care by ops team see so this is what development team on ops team does and here we need also we should also talk about the process involved in developing any application take any application in the real world maybe some shopping application maybe some e-commerce application or else let's say some social media application like facebook or instagram whatever it is okay let me take some application like uh, amazon.com okay a shopping application which we use in our daily life so if you take up this application or any application for that point many teams many people are involved in the process of this uh, application development and release so we'll talk about the main teams here like development team ops team qa team qa team means testers right so developers write the programs they use some programming language they write the code they develop it testers will test the application whether they meet them whether this application is meeting the standards whether this application is as per the norms as per the guidelines right whether and also they perform different levels of testing there will be again different types of testing and so on again there are different types maybe they may be testing it manually or else again they may test it automatically like automation testing by writing them some test scripts whatever it is so developers write the code testers test it and once it is ready they'll configure the servers and run the application this is in short see there are many people many teams involved in developing an application i'm talking about the major teams or the major tasks so yeah development team qa team and ops team are involved this way so let us take a simple example here suppose developers have to execute some task maybe they have to build something or they have to test something whatever this dev team and qa team need means if whatever task they need to perform they need to have the infrastructure isn't it they need to have the servers they need to have the services they need to have the networks access logins and so on am i correct so uh, yeah for all of these things they need uh, they need to have the infrastructure let's take a simple example like i said developers need some to perform new tasks they need a new operating system or a new server they would request ops team and ops team should serve the request by providing the operating system they need means here yeah, what is happening ops team is supporting dev team by providing the infrastructure support infrastructure they need am i correct ops team is supporting them so once they provide the operating system they can perform the task so how it would be in real scenario whenever developers needs any task they would be requesting the ops team ops team would serve them but before uh, ops team serving their request there is some 
there are some checks which upstream will perform because if this change is made is the infrastructure going to be stable are the servers going to be up and running are the networks going to be connected any network going to be disconnected any server going to be crashed or any access is going to fail they do all these checks before they serve the request am i correct because the upstream always need stability in the infrastructure they need the infrastructure should be always stable and running developers team developers look for the because they need to be able to perform data right so ops team a uh, development team looks for agility in the infrastructure whereas ops team look for stability and they do lot many checks to perform their uh, to serve the request meanwhile what is happening yes it takes some time to perform the request meanwhile developers are still waiting for the change they need ops teams are taking some time to serve the request so here dev team ops team are two separate teams uh, teams they don't have proper understanding proper collaboration between them and hence there arises some gap why is this gap because the developers don't know why ops team is taking so long to serve the request similarly ops team doesn't know why developers need this change correct so there arises some gap between the teams because there is no proper communication there is no proper understanding between them they don't know why operations are taking so long right so how to overcome this problem how to overcome the gap between the teams any solution any idea you have how to overcome the gap between these two teams here dev team means i am including qa also okay testing team also i am including here if testing team any need any new servers any new servers should be configured installed they would request ops team ops team should serve them right should provide their required infrastructure or changes to the infrastructure and yeah because they don't understand each other properly because they these are different teams these are different teams with a different skill set developer skill set is programming languages some database some build process and all testers core skill set is uh, testing uh, testing tools test scripts or manual testing and all operations works in the deployment process so their areas of expertise their core skills are different technically they work differently so they don't understand what each other team need or what other team does but they are all working in the same process hence there arises some gap between the teams so how to overcome this gap anyone can answer you can unmute and answer 